Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Here we are. We are wrapping up this week. It's Friday. And um, I have decided for these calls that it's going to be anywhere from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. <laughs> I did wake up earlier today, but one of the things that I always tell people is I really have to maintain the balance and I can habitually um, forget that because I'm a, I have a servant heart and I want to make sure that I am pleasing everyone else around me. <laughs> and I have to really be careful because in that, um, and I actually have a blog on my website if you want to check it out. It's um talks about people pleasing. But uh you know we we really have to be careful because in doing things for others, we also have to make sure that we are consistently showing up for ourselves and that we're doing the things for ourselves that we need to be doing um, just to ensure that we can keep going. So I actually took some time this morning to, um, you know, take care of me, to fill out my morning mindset and my planner and, um, you know, write down, I wanted to write down a couple of the um, prayer requests and, and just make sure that, um, you know, I was doing everything that I need to be doing. I am going to read from the book today about today's, um, for today's reading. Um, but I wanted to also read this scripture and this is out of, actually, I put it in chapter three of my book when I talk about self-care and positivity. And it says, devote yourself to prayer, being watchful and thankful. And that's in Colossians 4, 2, right? Um, this is the first version of my book. I'm actually working on version two right now. Um, but that is in chapter three, the self-care chapter that actually starts the chapter out. When I was writing the book, I, um, I was going through my spiritual journey where I literally kind of had to hit a brick wall. <laughs> and and it, it kind of sucks how I have to wait to that point. Um, and I hope I encourage you not to wait till that point, <laughs> but I really did. That was the first one that I hit. I had another one last year, but that was the first one that I hit. And out of that though, I realized I was like, okay, um, I can't do this by myself. I can't do all these things by myself. And that's when I invited the Lord into my life. Um, and through that, I started finding different scriptures and things that were kind of speaking to me. And, and so I started putting them, you know, certain ones I would put, I put in the book. Um, so the book is more of like a spiritual health journey. It's not necessarily, um, now you don't have to be a Christian to get the book, obviously. It's still got um, a lot of scientific information as far as like the brain and how it operates in the mindset part. And, you know, just, I just offer experiences, things that I've gone through and then you know, the nutrition portion, it basically tells you how to, you know, win in that area. But, you know, it's, it's just sometimes, and here we go. I always forget about this alarm. I'm going to have to take this alarm off. <laughs> I have this alarm on my phone. I just knocked everything down. But, um, <clears throat> you know, sometimes we, we forget that we're human and that we're going to make mistakes and that we're going to fall down and, you know, but it doesn't matter how many times we fall down as long as we get back up. Right. Um, so today I just want to offer, you know, believe in yourself, give yourself some grace, remember that you're not perfect and then remind other people around you the same thing, you know, and because somebody's going through something. Uh, so I want to kind of go into um, the prayer request today that I received um, actually yesterday. So I receive, you know, text messages from friends and people in general, and uh, this is a daily thing. So that's kind of what put it on my heart to do these calls um, because someone out there needs needs prayer. I mean, we all do, to be honest, right? If we're being completely honest. Um, and so anyway, I wanted to just pray for my sister for her safe travels um, as she goes to grieve her grandmother. And then I'm going to pray for my other sister as she 
uh, takes on the court systems this week. Uh, she's coming out of a very toxic relationship from many, many years ago, and she's been taking care of her two high school boys for years as a single mom, um, solo mom, whatever you want to call it. Um, and now her ex wants to, you know, take her to court again. So the system is really flawed in that area. I'm finding out more and more. Um, the system is not set up to take care of moms who have, you know, finally got the guts to get out of those relationships, um, which brings me to my next person. Um, and this is my other sister who is just, you know, she's an amazing soul too. And uh, she reached out to me yesterday and let me know that she's looking at possibly um, being homeless again with her and her daughter. And she actually created a nonprofit that helped women in those situations so they aren't homeless. But we just, we have to get an apartment building. We have to raise the money. And it's it's taking a lot of time. Um, uh, but it's part of what I believe that I'm supposed to be doing in real estate is helping single moms and, of course, veterans. And so um, I told her, I said, all of this is going to come together in, in his time. Uh, but for right now, I just want to, you know, pray for them uh, and, and just add them to our prayer request today. Lord, thank you so much for waking us up this morning. Thank you so much for allowing us to be here. Thank you for everything that you're providing in our lives. Thank you for wisdom and grace. Thank you for allowing us to forgive ourselves and others. Thank you for just reminding us that while we're imperfect, we are perfect through you. Lord, you have created each and every one of us for a specific reason, and we just ask that we stay focused on you and you alone and not the weight of the world. Lord, I just want to pray for my sister who is traveling today. Just give, you know, give her the grace as she makes that, um, that very long drive up north to visit with her family and to, you know, say, say that last goodbye to her grandmother. Lord, I just ask that you provide her with strength as she's driving on the road and, you know, just, just keep her in your arms, Lord. Lord, I want to pray for my sister who is going through the courts right now and who does not deserve what she's been given right now. She does not deserve this extra stress, Lord, but if you could just remind her that everything that she goes through is for your glory and that you will be there with her each and every step of the way, Lord. Please just remind her of that as she's going through this trial. Lord, I just want to pray for my other sister who is being faced with not having an apartment or a roof over her head by the end of this month, Lord, we just ask that you come in and, and just show what only you can do. We are asking for a miracle, Lord. We are asking for people to fund something they don't know about. We are asking for people to support these women that, that no one knows. And, and Lord, we just ask for you to bring the right person into our lives to help us get this off the ground and to, to fund the apartment building that is necessary for these women so that they can actually get out of these toxic relationships and have a place to go and not be fearful of being on the street, Lord. Lord, please just watch over everyone out there who needs you today. Lord, we all need you. Remind us to put our armor on before we walk out of our doors. Remind us to only look at you each and every moment of each and every day. And just remember that you have us purposed. So all of the trials, all the valleys, all the wilderness that we have to go through is for your specific purpose. And just remind us that you are ordering our steps, Lord, no matter what we are enduring at this time. Lord, thank you so much for allowing me to be on here and for giving me the courage to share my morning with other people. Lord, as you know, this was not something that is very comfortable for me. And it's not something that I really ever shared. But Lord, thank you for reminding me that other people need prayer too. And that it's okay to publicly come on and show some vulnerability and also be that person who can encourage others. Thank you so much, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Thank you for coming on here. Um, I really appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and read 
for today and then you know we'll be about our way i'm actually gonna make sure i get to the gym today <laughs> all right so today is april 8th and it says god's word equips us god's truth all scripture is inspired by god and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives it corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right god uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. And that's 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17. I don't know about you guys, but I really, I need those reminders. Um, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life and I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that because none of us are perfect. But um, the more that I learned how to release some of the shame and guilt that I had, the more I was able to you know, be the light for other people and to really do the right thing. And at the end of the day, that's what matters, right? Um, and I love what it says where God uses it to prepare and equip his people. So, you know, it kind of goes along with that prayer, right? It's like, we don't understand the why sometimes. And I think that's where we get caught up. I could definitely speak for myself where that's where I would get caught up, where I would start overanalyzing, you know, why, why am I going through this? And you know, I thought that my relationship with God would make my life easier, but it definitely did not. And so then I, I found myself questioning it again, which is why I had to hit that wall again last year. Um, so again, just know you're not alone if you're in that space. Uh, but that's why you have to link up with, you know, other people who maybe are farther along in their journey. Link up with those people and allow them to be um, that person who kind of helps you along until you get to that place where, you know, you're finally just like, okay, I know this is where I need to be. I know that he is looking after me and I'm not going to question it anymore. Okay. You're going to need people around you. All right. It says, when I get ready to clean my house, I round up the vacuum, dust cloth, and cleaning supplies. In order to bake homemade brownies, I get out the mixer, beaters, spatula, measuring cups, and ingredients. To do a job properly, we need the right tools. God has given us his word as the first tool to equip us for the good work of motherhood. I'm thankful that the Bible shows us how to live and helps us know how to do God's work in the world, beginning in our homes. All right. I don't know who these videos are reaching. And I honestly, I started thinking about that too. Like, nobody's really watching me. You know, like, anytime here's something i want to offer you and then we're going to cut it but every time we are trying to do something that is for the greater good the devil is going to come in and that's exactly what happened this morning it was like you know nobody's watching the videos uh this isn't really doing what it's supposed to be doing but here's the thing i do this stuff in the morning anyway <laughs> so what's the big deal if i share it on a video and maybe not too many people are watching it right now but guess what i do have someone watching it right now so good morning and that's all i need is just one you know one person that maybe needed to hear what was said today so thank you for tuning in thank you for being on this journey with me and god bless you have an amazing friday and just remember that no matter what the devil tries to do to take you off of your of the path that god has you on just remember there are two teams and they are both playing hard for your, your attention. And so it's your choice where you put that attention. Okay. And I've had to definitely deal with that. It's daily reminders. I have to remind myself that each and every day, because as soon as I walk out this door, and as soon as you walk out your door, if you're at home, that's when you're going to encounter the reality of things, right? We're safe when we're inside of our homes, mostly, um, for the most part, not everyone, but you know, a lot of us are safe when we're inside of our homes. But once we walk out the door, you know, so I just want to remind you to armor up, <laughs> put on the put on that armor. And I ask God for that every single day too. Lord, give, you know, remind me to have the armor, remind me not to pay attention to things that I don't need to be paying attention to, remind me not to be distracted by things that I don't need to be distracted by, and remind me that I am on a pathway of being able to do a whole lot more through God. And he's the one who strengthens me. And he's the one who strengthens you.
So thank you for tuning in. Um, I'm going to take the weekend off of these videos, but I am going to try to do them as much as possible throughout the week. Um, and, you know, if you know anybody who needs prayer or uh, who might want to join, just please share this with them. And God bless you throughout your day. Have an amazing Friday. All right. Bye.